Hi everyone, I thought I'd make a little quick video to explain a bit more about communication through music. Um, the book that I got most of my ideas from is this one, Approaches to Communication Through Music by Margaret Cook. The introduction in this um, book is really, really good. And there are some songs in it that we use in the school. Most of them are adapted. Um, and we've changed maybe the lyrics or the tune and we've made up our own. Um, so kind of the approach for communication through music is all directed, controlled, developed by the pupil responses. Everything is based on how the previous session's going or even how that one is going at the time. Um, if for instance, we find that the Bubbles song has been particularly motivating, then we might add in another song with Bubbles or we might have that as the beginning and the end song just to kind of hook them in and um, and keep them interested because motivation is obviously um, key. So just make sure you include favourites. Um, some of the other things that I wrote down which I thought would be helpful at home is that um, <laughs> it's really important to perform and share intrigue, anticipation, share delight, um, be be motivated yourself and, um, you know, leave your inhibitions at the door. We have to do that all the time at Camp View and it really helps. As soon as there's really, if there's a hint of, not necessarily boredom, but, you know, we've done this song so many times, if there's a hint of that, uh, it's not going to motivate the kids as much. If, if you're enjoying yourself, then, then they will be too. So this communication through music can be done in lots of different settings. It can be done one to one to develop and build relationships um, and fundamentals of communication. That's always a really nice thing to do at the start of a school year for adults to have one to one time with the new children in the class to develop those relationships. And whether you do intensive interaction or parallel play or communication through music or just just some one to one time playing with toys that the kids really enjoy. Um, that's a great way for us to build up our relationships with the with new children at the start of each year. Um, it can also be done uh, one adult and two kids and that just encourages a bit more peer interaction um, and then it can also be done in a group which is generally um, how it's done mostly I would say at Camp Sea View. Um, it's not a music lesson, it's totally separate from music because um, it's more focusing on communication um, but because music is such a motivator for lots of children um, with additional needs that's why I feel like this approach really really works so in a group you're looking at social language and communication skills just developing them um, so we need to be open and responsive and have no expectations at all if we have any expectations then we might miss another bit of progress that the child's made um, so if you're just looking to see if they're anticipating anything at all, if they're seeing, you know, are they looking to see if the parachute's coming or um, watching it coming from the floor or above, you might miss the fact that they're actually smiling and looking at somebody that's making a funny noise or an adult that's, that's being silly next to them. Um, and those are huge bits of communication. Um, so I think the last thing really that I want to say is that the fundamentals of communication when we talk about them and um, that's things like eye contact facial expression changes in facial expression changes in posture different gestures and um, touch turning away stills so a child might just pause and and that's you know they're showing there that they're they're paying attention in, in some way and uh, vocalization gasps smiling laughing there's so many different um bits of communication some of the other aims that we look at um, as well are for inner satisfaction of communicating, um, tolerating closeness of another adult or another person next to them, enjoying company, initiating and maintaining interaction, developing sound production and sort of an awareness of cause and effect. So there's lots and lots of different, it's huge, really it's huge. But I just wanted to give a little bit of background information and there was a little quote in this book that I really liked. Um, so, um, engaging people both physically and emotionally, music impacts on mind, body and spirit. Within the, intensive intera within the interactive music process, other components, namely fun and visual, tactile and essentially person-centred approaches, combine with music to form the basis of a therapeutic approach devised to teach fundamental communication and social interaction. So that's it in a nutshell. Maybe I should have just read that. Um, but hopefully, hopefully that's helpful. If you've got any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, I'll be posting up 
different communication through music songs each week. I'll hopefully get a few in depending on internet upload speeds. Um, and yeah, just enjoy it. Lots of pauses, take your time, lots of repetition, and I'm sure you'll have lots of fun together. <laughs>